Today's video is going to be on my skin routine. This skin routine has been so requested so many times, I so regret not having logged all the comments, all the ladies that asked me to do a skin routine. First of all, I want to say to you guys is that even though I might appear as if I have this fantastic skin because by some miracle cream procedures, whatever it happened, I hate to disappoint you, but my skin looks so great thanks to jeans. I owe it all to my mom. My mom had no wrinkles. She only had facial lines like I do, exactly like her. Only at 60 did she start to have those beauty spots that you get in the hands and in the arms. Another thing is I am somebody who doesn't like junk food. I'm not big on super sweet stuff like cake or super salty stuff. Like I will have a little bit, but that's about it. And I don't like anything that comes from a box. I really believe that eating right foods will help your digestive system. And that's why I don't have pimples and I don't have a tinge on my skin or anything that would show that I am not eating properly. I don't smoke and I don't suntan. When I was young, I used to see my mom's friend come to her house crisp brown and puffing away. And these ladies, to my eyes, they look like lizards. Because <laughs> they were just so wrinkly and so brown. And then I would look at my mom and she was this perfect peachy skinned woman. And I just put two and two together and I said, no, mm, smoking is not for me and sun tanning as much as I love the sun, I cannot stand too much the heat. So yeah, I will go under the sun, but I won't overexpose myself to the point to be crispy brown. And that actually saved my skin. So today at the age of 52, even though I do have my crowns fit here and I have, I think this is called like chicken neck. It doesn't show too much on the camera, but believe me, I have a chicken neck. Like it's totally, totally wrinkly here. In general, I'm not too, too bad. Another thing that I think keeps my skin looking good is the fact that I don't like stress. It's gonna happen because it's gonna happen. But I've worked methods for me not to feel stress more than that dude moment or so. But after that, it is over and done with. Goodbye. I have other things to do in my life. I wanna laugh, I wanna smile, I want to dance. I don't have time to sit in a corner and cry my eyes off because something in my life is not going the way I want to. Even so, I said all this, I do follow a certain skin routine. So here we go. First thing I do in the morning is I wash my face with cool water. I pat my face dry with a plushy towel and I proceed by applying SPF. The SPF I'm applying at this moment is called La Roche Posée. It was given to me by my dermatologist and I've been using it since. After I've applied SPF from forehead to neck and chest as well, even in winter. And the reason I do that even in winter is so I don't lose practice in the summer. Not practice, but habit. So that I always keep on doing it. Because if I were to do just the face, when summer comes around, I will forget to do the neck and the chest area. Once that is done, I'm going to dab Vaseline on my lips a little bit goes a long way and I'm done for the day. Every single day of the week, I do not wear makeup unless I am filming like now or I'm going to a party and I know I'm gonna have my picture taken. On the days that I do wear makeup, I'm going to remove the makeup at the end of the day with coconut oil. Don't get me wrong, I love cleansers. I love especially cleansers that are sudsy. I have nothing against those. In fact, they're my favorite. But coconut oil is way less expensive <laughs> and it works just as well. At least it works for me. Once I've warmed up the coconut oil in my hand, I apply coconut oil over my face and I gently 
gingerly rub the makeup off with the oil. Once I feel that all the makeup has been completely melted away, including mascara, I will use regular toilet paper to wipe away all the products. I know a lot of you are probably gonna say they sell special pads, you don't have to use toilet paper, that could be a bit rough on you rather than pads. I understand you, those things are so expensive and I don't understand why I need to spend so much money for something that literally is going to go in the garbage. So toilet paper for me is just as good. Probably it wouldn't be good if I had a super duper delicate skin or a conditioned skin, I can understand that, but thankfully I have a normal skin, therefore I can use toilet paper. After that, I'm going to splash some tepid water this time is going to be tepid not cold so that it's gonna help me dislodge any extra gunk that's left after that i proceed by patting dry my face with a thick towel and for night i'm going to apply an eye cream this is the eye cream that i'm using presently and only because it wasn't special and that's the only reason i bought it on my face i'm going to apply olive oil that's what my grandmother used all her life. I remember her using olive oil. She would even put olive oil on us when we would go to the beach in Italy and we'd come home after having spent the whole day under the sun and we're all nice and brown. And she would actually put olive oil all over us so that our skin could be hydrated from the sun. Guys, I'm going to repeat myself. I am very lucky I have good normal skin so i can apply olive oil on my skin if i had a specific condition obviously i wouldn't do it but since i'm okay i can proceed with olive oil i dab a little bit on my finger and from that little bit from my finger i simply pat it all over my face and all over my neck and as much as i can on my chest then i apply a little bit of vaseline on my lips and i'm off to bed once a week on Sundays, again, it's something that I used to see my mom do, so I just picked up her habit, <laughs> is I will scrub my face, neck, and chest for five minutes. I will use my ring fingers and I will set the timer for five minutes because I wanna make sure that I did work all this area, all my face, my neck, and my chest. Because I'm using my ring finger, the pressure that I'm putting on is very diminished and I just scrub in circles all the way to the forehead and then I go all the way back down. Guys, I don't touch this area. After I wash it off, I pat it dry and I apply a mask. Now I have this mask on hand because it was given to me as a sample. Once this is over, I'm going to purchase whichever other mask is available that is fairly priced. I do this once a week and I do feel that my skin does get that extra moisture but once the moisture of the mask wears off, it's back to my normal skin. One thing that I do, and it's a skin routine, not of the face, but of the body, is that I scrub my whole body with a body scrub. Right now I'm using one that I picked up in Italy and it's called Geomar Talasso Scrub. Well, this is it for my skin routine. I hope I answered your question. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Gros bisous.